The Tortoise and the Hare Wow, Hare! You're the fastest of us all, says a rabbit to his friend. There's sure nothing faster than us hares and rabbits, bragged another. Look at that tortoise over there. Bet she's ashamed of her species and jealous of fast creatures like us. But the tortoise, hearing the mockeries, just sits quietly at her table, eating her ice cream, letting the rude groupies continue to brag about themselves. Outside the cafe, as the gang of rabbits is continuing to laugh and be crude, <laughs> the tortoise approaches them quietly from the rear. Hello, my friends. I couldn't help overhearing you, and I think you're completely wrong about the abilities of us tortoises. In fact, I challenge you to a race. Let's see who's really faster, the tortoise or the hare. <laughs> Done, says the hare, laughing at the absurdity of the tortoise's challenge. It will be my pleasure to teach you a lesson. Three weeks from today, at the Laurel Road running track? Agreed, says the tortoise. The tortoise goes immediately into training, lifting weights, stretching, and running. But the hare, thinking he's by nature certainly way faster than any silly tortoise, feels he needs no training. Instead, he concentrates on having his head fur coiffed, his nails manicured, and his body shampooed and softened. After all, he is a star. Finally, the day of the race arrives. There's excitement in the air as various animals of all types attend, curious to see this unusual race. The tortoise has some of her friends present, and the hare has his own loud crowd rooting for him and flattering him. A starting gun is fired, and the race begins. In a burst of dust, the hare bolts forward and is seen in the far distance already on his way to the finish line. But the tortoise has only taken two or three steps past the starting line. How in the world can she ever hope to win this race? More than halfway down the track, the hare takes a break leaning on the railing, laughing and drinking carrot soda with his rabbit friends. Jokingly, he says, Take a look. And he takes out his binoculars. His friends look through and see a very small image of the tortoise, very, very far in the distance. Guess there's no need to rush, chortles the hare. Think I'll just take a little break, as he guzzled down another soda. Meanwhile, the tortoise, far behind, but undisturbed by the hare's great lead, relentlessly continues her race. One foot in front of the other, then another foot, then another foot, not hesitating, not rushing, just determined and focused. At the same time, the hare lays down on the soft grass at the side of the track, yawns, crosses his legs lazily, opens a super hare comic book, and stuffs himself with chocolates and potato chips. The poor tortoise is really sweating now, but not breaking her pace. One of her friends, moved by her struggle, holds out a water bottle and another an apple, but she refuses both. No time to eat or drink. Just one foot in front of the other, then another foot, then another foot, then another. Now the hare is completely asleep, belly bulging and snoring. In the near distance, the tortoise is getting closer and for the first time is able to see the hare. Everyone, the hare fans, the tortoise friends, and all the other animals are now paying complete attention to what might happen next. C. 
soon the tortoise succeeds in passing the sleeping hare, and everyone is shocked. <gasps> the crowd watches the scene, astonished. Is it possible this poor tortoise could win the race? Terrified of possibly losing the race, the rabbits try to wake the hare, but he's still deeply asleep, snoring loudly. One of the groupie rabbits dumps a bucket of water on the hare, and he springs awake with a surprised scream. <laughs> Yikes! The groupie rabbits point. Then the hare turns his head and sees the tortoise approaching the finish line. The hare jumps back onto the track and races desperately toward the tortoise and the approaching finish line. No! No! He screams to the tortoise, There is no way you can win this race! The tortoise, sweating profusely and near the finish line, murmurs, Oh yeah? We'll see about that. With a burst of final energy, she rises upright to her two rear legs and runs even faster. At the finish line, the tortoise bursts through just inches ahead of the exhausted hare, and the mixed crowd cheers loudly. The hare drops to his knees, sick to his stomach from all the junk food. The crowd lifts the tortoise onto its shoulders, chanting, Tortoise! 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 As the hare, embarrassed and abandoned by his friends, gives a congratulatory hand signal to the tortoise. The moral, you can be more successful by doing things slowly and steadily than by acting quickly and carelessly.